Hey Simon here and today I want to show you how to make this. Uh, notice this is a particle system in the scene, that's not the Niagara editor. And this is the sequencer timeline and I'm able to scrub. Um, and this is not the default behavior, thanks to Andreas Glad from the Real Time VFX channel, he told me that, uh, yeah, uh, how to do that. Um, because it's not very intuitive. So let me delete this here. Um, so our setup is this test system and I have just a standard fountain thing. This is the default behavior uh, I uh, or default emitter. I didn't do anything to it. It's just the default thing. And then you open uh, a sequence or you create a new sequence. And then you add this um, new thing here. In my case, it's test test and then you add the uh, uh, Niag Niagara component and uh, Niagara system life cycle track. And now here comes the magic because if you scru scrub now, nothing happens. And that's really confusing because it was working um, until a certain version, Andreas told me, uh, and then uh, it, it stopped working because of performance reasons. Also, um, you see <laughs> it stopped right now because while scrubbing, I, I left the end here. So what I have to do first, I let it run like officially like with the play button and then it starts again so right click in properties you set age update mode to desired age this makes that you can scrub through so now this is really really nice still if i leave this area here it doesn't start again okay oh well, actually now it did but doesn't do it anyway anyway um here property set evaluate behavior to activative inactive and now we can scrub and it will be active all the time and scrubbable basically so that's really really nice um yeah hope it helped bye bye